What's up all my beautiful people, it's lovely Danesia here and in this video I will be showing you how I achieved this burnt peachy orange makeup look using the Morphe 350 palette. If you want to see how I achieved this makeup using this palette, then please keep on watching. So my face is already moisturized and I'm just going in with this Master Strobing Liquid by Maybelline and it's just going to help prime our face for primer. Then I'm going in with the Age Rewind Maybelline Concealer just to prime our eyelids for our shadow. Set my concealer in place, I'm just using this off-white color to seal that concealer. Then I'm going in with this soft peach color with my MAC 224 brush and I'm just going to start working that into my crease as a transition color. Then I'm going with this orange color right above the first color that we used and with the same brush I'm just going to start working that right on top of the first color. With a MAC 221 brush I'm going to be taking this darker burnt orange color and we're gonna start working that into my crease just to create a little bit of depth with the same brush I'm going in with this brown color and I'm just gonna start working that in my outer V and dragging it into my crease as well with a real techniques brush I'm just wetting it um, I'm going in with this gold shimmery color and I'm just gonna start tapping that right into the center of my lids for an extra pop, I'm going in with the champagne pink color and I'm just tapping that right on top of the first color. Back to my MAC 221 brush, I'm going back with this brown color and working that into my crease to disappear any harsh lines. For foundation, I'm using Born This Way in the color Warm Beige and I'm just tapping that in with my e.l.f. blending brush. Then to set my foundation, I'm going in with the MAC Studio Fix and NC30. To highlight and conceal my face, I'm going in with the Maybelline Age Rewind in the color Light. And with an e.l.f. Um, foundation brush, I'm just tapping that out. And to bake, I'm using the Laura Mercier in Translucent, and wherever I highlight it is where I'm baking. Shades on my face, I'm using Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in the color Medium Deep, and I'm just using a Morphe Contouring Brush. And for a shimmery bronze, I'm using the Physician's Formula in the color Sunlight. The Morphe Smudging Brush, I'm using the Burnt Orange and the uh, brown color. And I'm just going to start working that in my waterline. And to get a smoky eye effect, I'm just using this darker brown color. And I'm going in with these two gold colors and highlighting my brow bone. With these two champagne glitter colors, I'm going to take a precise brush from Morphe as well and start highlighting my tear ducts. With a Morphe blush brush, I'm going in with this peachy color and it's just going to act as my blush. As you can see, this palette is so versatile that you can make it work to whatever you want it to be. Back to the Master Strobing Liquid by Maybelline, I'm just going to start highlighting my highest points of my face such as my cupid's bow, my nose, and my highest points of my cheeks. And with this e.l.f. blush brush, I'm going in with this champagne pink color and I'm just going to start tapping that right where we applied the strobing liquid by Maybelline. And as you can see, the shadows work perfect as a highlight and I'm just going to start highlighting the highest points of my face such as my cheek my bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, and my cupid's bow as well. For lips, I'm going in with this NYX color called Morocco, and I think this color is perfect to complete the whole peachy look that I'm going for. But then I kind of thought that the color was way too bright, so I'm going in with this NYX color called Abu Dhabi, just to desaturate the color. This is the final look using the Morphe 350 palette. No, this video is not sponsored, but I wish it was. I just wanted to share that eyeshadows could also be used for other things. As you can see, I used an eyeshadow for a highlight and blush. I think this look is great for the spring and summertime, especially if you want to go out for drinks with your girls or a date with your honey. And I hope that you enjoyed this look. For more videos, please subscribe to my channel and any suggestions, comment down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!